On this day, October 7, 2015, Rosenthal family is designated by the U.S. The news shocked the country's business and political class. On the afternoon of October 7, it was learned that the Rosenthal family had been designated by the U.S. Treasury Department as money launderers. Textually, the designation pointed to the Rosenthals and seven of their companies as specially designated narcotics traffickers pursuant to the appointment of foreign drug traffickers, Kingpin Law, by playing a significant role in international narcotics trafficking. It also added that Jaime Rolando Rosenthal Oliva, as well as his son Yanni Benjamin Rosenthal Hidalgo, and his nephew Yankel Antonio Rosenthal Coelho, provided money, laundering, and other services to support international narcotics trafficking activities of multiple Central American drug traffickers and their criminal organizations. The U.S. government announced actions over the companies that the Rosenthals had in the United States, as well as requested the relevant actions from the government of Honduras and Panama to proceed with the insurance of the companies and assets that had been acquired with funds of elect illicit origin. After learning of the designation, the Rosenthal family issued a statement rejecting the U.S. government accusations and indicating that the tax injunction filth falsely accused them and their businesses. We have been included in this list even though we have never been involved in either of those two activities. Therefore, inclusion on this list is an act of viciousness against us that we repudiate. They said in rejecting their inclusions on the Kingpin Act's list for drug trafficking and terrorism offenses. A day before the appointment, Yankel Rosenthal was captured in the United States, who faced U.S. justice, and paid bail to defend himself in freedom. Days later, the voluntary surrender of Yanni Rosenthal was confirmed, who was also favored with the payment of a bond to remain free in the process. In the case of Jaime Rosenthal, legal proceedings are still pending in the country. This was A Day in the History of Honduras.